Hello everyone, my name is Ivica and thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Beginners tutorial which will show you how to apply collisions in Unreal Engine and do it in a pretty quick and easy manner. So the collision as a concept is the ability of an object, in this case static mesh in Unreal, to actually interact with other elements, other physical elements in the game like the player or for example its weapon or anything similar. Let's see collision in practice on this starter content model, static mesh, which already has collisions set up. So when I go to play and I fire at it, it reflects those shots. And of course, when I can go, when I get near it, it will stop my player character going anywhere further. But if we would like to add, for example, something from the starter content, from the props and add a rock here, it will have no collisions and this will look like, like this. Again, the shot is bounced back from this model. It simply goes through this one, just like me or my player character. Now to add collisions, this can be done to any custom models you might want to import in Unreal. The process is pretty straightforward and simple. You just need to select your model, in this case this rock, and double click on its static mesh. Right now we see the same model, but when we turn on collisions and use simple collisions, there will be nothing to show for it. So we'll need to add a collision and do it from this menu here. As you can see, there are several options. For starts, we're going to add a box simplified collision. And here it is, you can see it, it kind of placed the same object inside of a box and added collisions on all of these sides. Once I turn on the game, I leave this docked and start playing, again, a customary shot. Here it is. The object will have its collisions. So it is reflecting shots. It's not allowing me to go through it. However, if we, for example, fire here, it will still collide. This is the spot where the box collision, current box, ends. And it's really imprecise. As you can see, it has that ghost collision around it which we also want to change and add something more precise, something that follows the same object more faithfully. To do that, we're again entering its static mesh, but now we're going to search in details for complex collisions or collision complexity. Here it is collision complexity. Now, instead of default, we're going to choose use complex collision as simple. And here it is, you see a whole new box of collisions that is being applied. And we're going to save it and try out the game now. Again, the collisions are there but let's see how does the rock react with the shots now. As you can see, it's much more precise and it's following the topography of the same object, the same static mesh, a lot better. So we have those bounces and pinball shots that actually follow the geography and topography of the same object. And they do it really precisely. So using that principle, which is pretty simple, really straightforward and easy to apply, you can add collision to any custom model that you might want to import into Unreal. And hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you so much for checking it out. My name is Ivica. Check out my other Unreal Engine tutorials if you'd like to leave me a tip. If you're really happy about this video, check out the link in the description below. And if you're a first time viewer, please consider subscribing. New Unreal tutorials for beginners are inbound soon enough. Have a great time in your Unreal projects and I'll see you on my next video. Until then, bye bye.